Queen ants can reportedly live up to almost 30 years, but are there different types of queens? As you might already know, there are three different types of queen ants. These three types are clostral, semi-clostral and socially parasitic, but what is it that sets them apart? Firstly, clostral queens are queens that can make it through the entire founding phase from their nuptial flight up until the first workers, also known as nanitics, without needing any food. They are the most common type of queen ant out of the three. You might be asking, but how do they manage to last so long without eating? The answer would be that they break down their wing muscles which they no longer need as the nuptial flight is over. They then use this broken down muscle tissue as energy for themselves and nutrients for the initial set of nanitics. Common clostral species include Laziest Niger, Fadoli Pallidula, and Campanotus CA02. Clostral queens are usually considered the best choice for beginner ant keepers due to their low maintenance requirements. On the other hand, semi-clostral queens need to occasionally go out to forage or hunt during the founding stage. This is because they have smaller wing muscles which are insufficient to raise a set of nanitics. Semi-clostral queens are slightly tougher to keep than fully clostral species since you need to feed them without stressing them out. Luckily, however, they are adapted to cope with stress better than clostral queens due to the nature of their founding needs. They are the least common type of queens, but they include many great species like Myrmachia pilosula, Myrmica rubra, and Manica rubida. And lastly, socially parasitic queens behave very differently compared to clostral and semi-clostral queens, as they require workers and or brood from a particular host species to do the work for them. In rare cases, polygynous colonies of parasitic species can somewhat behave semi-clostrally. Parasitic queens are often classified into two types, permanent and facultative. Permanent parasitic species are species that require host workers, also known as slaves, throughout the entire colony's life cycle. Facultative species, on the other hand, only require these slaves for part of their life cycle. Socially parasitic queens are less common than fully clostral queens, but more common than semi-clostral queens. Species include Formicarufa and Sanguinea, and Laceus fuliginosus. But what about identification? How do you know which type of queen do you have? It's actually fairly simple. If the queen has a humped thorax like this, with a relatively large gaster, then she is most likely a clostral queen. If she however has a smaller gaster and thorax, almost resembling a worker of some sorts, like this, then she is probably semi-clostral. And finally, parasitic queens somewhat resemble clostral queens but with slightly smaller gasters as shown by this photo. It is worth noting, however, that identifying the specific species you have is more reliable. Besides, you would need to identify your queen anyways to cater to the colony's needs. If you need help identifying your queen, you can use forums like Ants Canada or Formiculture. Or you could ask in an ant keeping server like Ants Vienna or Ender Ants. Links to all of these will be in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions about this video or ant keeping in general, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.